Hello and welcome to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak, Technical Sales Specialist with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're discussing Rosemount's 5300 series of guided wave radar level transmitters. Specifically, we're looking at utilizing this transmitter in a chamber application. Now, if you missed the last episode, be sure to go check that one out. In that video, we discussed the benefits of utilizing the chamber. So pending you saw that video, we're now going to discuss the requirements for guided wave radars in chambers. Now, no matter the application, whether it's a distillation column, or maybe just a complicated vessel that requires a chamber, there are very few requirements for a guided wave radar. And this is quite often why we would utilize this transmitter over, say, a non-contacting radar. So what are the requirements? Well, the first one is the size of the chamber. We're going to want at least a two inch diameter chamber, but we prefer three inches and four inches where possible, just to ensure that enough product gets into that chamber from the vessel and provides a reflective measurement of the level in the vessel itself. Now, the other requirement is going to be in terms of the dimensions above and below the process connections to the vessel. Now, typically the measuring range for these transmitters is between those taps. But when we utilize a guided wave radar, there are certain upper and lower blind zones or reduced accuracy zones that we need to consider. For a typical probe, it might be 10 inches above and five inches below. And we want to extend the chamber above and below by those amounts to ensure that we have the most accurate measurements between those taps. And that's pretty much it. A guided wave radar is going to work very well in a chamber because the microwave pulse is guided down that probe. So there's going to be very little interference with the chamber walls itself. And in terms of concern of the probe coming in contact with the chamber wall, well, we have a simple solution that would just be a centering disc that we can utilize to ensure that is not the case. And that's how we utilize a guided wave radar in a chamber. If you have any questions about this transmitter or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks for joining.